Here is a tricky one. We want to talk about water and water conservation. Think about this. Would you rather give up your shower for one month or your smartphone for just one week? Oh, this one's tough, right? The point is, water isn't just for drinking. It takes a shocking amount of over 12,000 liters just to make a single smartphone. Now, let's talk about fruits. Think about this. Does it take more water to grow two apples or to make a hamburger? Just think about it. Surprise! It's the hamburger, hence down. Raising cows for meat uses a lot of water, they drink a lot, and we need even more water to grow all their feed. Are you the type that when you want to brush your teeth, you leave the water running while brushing? You know why I ask this question? When you understand the implication of water, the cost of producing water, you will not allow a single drop to go down the drain without serving a purpose. You know it. Leaving the water on is a huge waste. A simple change like this makes a big difference. Two of us, turning off the tap while you are soaping up, getting ready to wash your hand, can save enough water that will fill a bottle each day. Whoa, it's true. I mean, think about how many times you wash your hands. Those small savings really add up. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Imo State, we are lucky to have a lot of water resources at our disposal. But do you understand that before this water is sent into your homes, we have to treat the water. You have to bring your water to drinkable level. Safe water, that is what we produce. That is what we supply to the public. Over there, you have our aeration system, Water will go through flocculation, sedimentation, filtration, disinfection. All of them aimed at making the water safe for human consumption. Our focus is water that you can drink safely without problem. No gastroenteritis, no contamination. Water that is physically safe, chemically safe, biologically safe. Over here we have a standard laboratory that we use to test our water to make sure that it's giving us the quality parameters that are needed, that are recommended. We treat water to World Health Organization standards. Shout out to ISWSC. They work so hard just to make sure we all have safe water. Let's appreciate that.